Hey, what's up everybody? Sky Deep here. I'm gonna show you what I think is some amazing things. And I, first off, I just need to apologize. I haven't been around. You haven't seen new stuff from me in the last two months, but I assure you I'm coming back after this show that I've been working on for the last couple of months. much work to do um, but very rewarding work and I can't wait to share with you what some of my process has been but today right now I am in the last couple of days at our rehearsal space before we go over to the venue and I couldn't let this time get by without at least showing you my station and what I have going on here and kind of just a little bit of a behind the scenes peek at what I'm up to all right so here we go. I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm just going to show you some stuff. Okay, so first off, this is my work station, sort of the mission control launch section. Uh, oops, you don't want to see my email over there, so let me just switch over. I'm running Ableton Live uh, 11 and uh, you don't see much here right now, but if I scroll up, uh, you'd see a few things and I'll, I'll, I'll break this down for you how I set this up in a future video but you can see the whole length of the show here and I'll tell you why I'm running it in arrangement view uh, a bit later on but then of course I have the Ableton push uh, hang tight I'll cut to it but we are here and I'm gonna just Populate the Ableton push settings. You're gonna hear a lot of noise in the background. That's okay But this is the push looking down on that Then uh, when we step this way, you're gonna see my guitar board uh, That's where all my effects are coming from and as well down here You'll see I have my Motu ultralight MK4 interface and when I flip around the front you're going to see that I'm using almost all the I.O. on this thing. And of course right now we've got a lot more action happening in the background, but I hope that you can kind of see what's going on. And so here's the outside view of my station. And we're going to move all of this to the stage at some point. Uh, but looking down, looking up. So we'll see over here, uh, I have the e-drums. This is the Yamaha. DTX M12. Looking at the back there, got some triggers set up. And it's a real beautiful gift that one of my past studio mates has passed down to the rest of us that are still at the studio now. And I just love this thing. Uh, so yeah, I've been picking up drums while I've been away. So I have an excuse, I promise. Okay. I have a little kick drum trigger that's connected to the back of there. All right, let's uh, let's go over here. I want to show you. <laughs> um, moving the camera around. We look over here. Of course, what do you think? Of course, there's a guitar station. Uh, but this time, my good friends over at and let me just make this very clear. I'm going to flip the camera around for this one. My good friends over at Checkpoint Guitars uh, near Checkpoint Charlie in Berlin hooked a sister up with a couple of guitar uh, loans uh, and they're so great. They've worked on my stuff before. Uh, it really keeps my equipment in tip top shape. But they were kind enough to send me uh, a bass as well as an acoustic guitar so I can practice uh, outside of the rehearsal space some things. So I'm just gonna flip that back around. And I'll show you this bass that they gave me. It's really cool. So it's an Epiphone. Let's just turn this. It's 
It's an epi bass uh, by Oliver Woody. It's an Oliver Woody signature. And uh, it's a semi-hollow. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it is. Uh, bass, yeah. And I've been having some fun with that. And it's like a three-quarter size. And so it fits just like a guitar in my hand. Uh, then I have a little prop station. This is where I'll be doing some acting in the show. It's a cabaret, people. And uh, yeah, we have a lot going on. Over on that side, we have uh, some of the costumes and props that we'll be using, as well as right now in the rehearsal space, our uh, in-ear wireless system that we're using from Shure. It's, these are rentals. And uh, then I'll give you a quick scan of the room. Uh, lots of big windows for now. We have the we have the stage kind of drawn out of what it will look like later. This big pole won't be there. This is just a rehearsal space. But we put you know some markers just to give us a feeling of what the stage will look like. So there will be this like catwalk type situation, and then. You know, we'll have some other stage parts here. And then over to this side, you'll see this is my uh, co-musician station. Uh, Zaina is going to be doing lots of other things. We both were sound designing on this piece. It's called Death's Cabaret. So isn't that cool? We got some of the team there in the background, but most everybody's on lunch right now. And so now I'm just gonna turn it back around so you can see me. Okay, so this has been a whole handheld experience. Usually I'm setting up the tripods, I got the studio lights just right and the audio just right. At least I try. But in this case, I'm happy to just get on camera one more time and show you what I've been up to. <laughs> Uh, it feels like 24 seven, but of course, you know, I've been taking breaks, taking care of myself as much as possible. Um, but I haven't been taking care of the YouTube, so forgive me, but I've got some really cool announcements coming up for you. And uh, I'm just happy to be back in touch. What are you up to? Tell me what you've been up to. Are you mad at me that I haven't finished telling you the story about the audio interfaces? Well, I will, I promise, I will get back to you on that. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.